verse for today is in Proverbs 25 verse 8. What you have seen with your eyes, do not bring hastily to court. For what will you do in the end if your neighbor puts you to shame? There are times when we are rushed in our decision. And uh, we are told here, friends, that we file case against our neighbor because of what we have seen. Maybe we thought that our neighbor is committing a crime. That's why we file that case, because we have seen him do something. But don't be rushed. Maybe because of what you've seen, friends, you'll be proven wrong in the end. Do you have any proof that that neighbor that you have has committed a crime? If you have seen your neighbor take something out of somebody else's possession, don't just assume, friends, that that neighbor is stealing. Don't assume. Because maybe that neighbor was instructed by the owner of the property to take it. You just don't know what's happening behind. You have only seen a portion of it and you make judgment and quickly you file a case. We are told, friends, that don't be hasty. Think again. Consider all the facts before filing a case against your neighbor. Because the question here, friends, is what will you do if your neighbor comes back to you and proves you wrong? What will you do? Just say sorry. Well, friends, good if your neighbor would just accept your sorry. But how about your neighbor filing a case against you of slander or libel? for destroying their name. They can come back to you, friends. And so again, the message for us today is that what you have seen, well, don't make up a story out of it. Even what you have heard, sometimes for us, it's not only what you see, but even what you have heard that will disturb your spirit so that you make a conclusion. No, don't make up stories, friends, of what you have seen or what you have heard. No. Well, consider fully the situation before taking a move of spreading uh, what you have seen. See, you could be charged of, again, a gossip. Just try to destroy the name of somebody, passing on information that were not validated. So, be careful about your tongue. Be careful about your heart. Your heart can be very judgmental, friends. And so be careful. Don't make those rash decisions, especially here, filing cases in court. Well, that's something serious, friends. They can always come back. And, and sometimes you think that uh, you get all the facts. Well, they can reverse it. They can prove you wrong. And the question is, what will happen if you have been proven wrong? Then, friends, you will regret it when they come back to you and file cases against you. Yes, friends, don't be rushed. Sometimes we thought that we got control over the situation, but no. It's beyond us. So, guard your tongue, guard your actions. Hallelujah. Friends, don't make up stories. Don't try to conclude because of what you've seen, that you can make up stories and make a conclusion that your neighbor is wrong. You could be proven wrong yourself. Hallelujah. And so, friends, again, this is a warning for us. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May His face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May He lift up His countenance and give you His peace, His love. God bless. See you next time.